chart this is one to two feet I looked at it and I was like oh my gosh are we not in the intercoastal because I saw that it was gonna turn into one to two feet here and I was like I zoomed out and I was like okay we're in the intercoastal and then I zoomed back in and I'm like maybe it was a mistake maybe I was in the wrong place and I, we, we were in the exact spot and it said one to two feet so then I ran out here and I grabbed the lead line and it's deep it's like 20 feet but it definitely spooked the heck out of me Sounds pretty out here. The only way we knew that we were going the right way is there's a sailboat back there somewhere. And uh, we can't be the only dumb ones walk <laughs> going <laughs> in a shallow place. I don't know where that sailboat is though. <laughs> I looked, we're in the intercoastal, but it definitely spooked me. And these are intercoastal markers, so. <sighs> Those are friends. It's pretty in here. It gets a little confusing, so I'm gonna check the chart. Make sure everything's good. There's a lot of little wines and uh, beer offs places. over there. You can hear the birds out here. We're going to go up to an anchorage right before um, the Myrtle Beach. There's a big tree floating over here. Hi! We're at our new anchor spot. I had to charge up the GoPro, so. Oh, you got an itchy ear. Um, so I couldn't, I didn't film, but we 
went to anchor and we got pretty close to the trees, which is kind of spooky. So we pulled the anchor back up and then turned around and re-anchored. It was a little stressful, but we're here. So. Yeah. Are these dry? Yeah. Pretty much. Laundry. Give me the rope for it. Here of mine. I went into brackish deep water, which I'm really afraid of. Being a Florida girl, you know, there's alligators. So, I don't know, I've always kind of had a fear of that. That and heights, I have a fear of heights. And, uh, and then a bunch of lily pads. Um, it said eight feet, eight to six feet at mean low water here. And it's 20 feet deep where we are. Just a little tiny rain cloud. Oh, Nara's gonna leak again. <laughs> We're on Courtney's bed. Okay, for anybody who might be afraid to open their sea cocks and think that it's going to immediately sink the boat, this is about how fast the water runs in. So there you go. We got breakfast. It's actually dinner and breakfast. Potato, eggs, zucchini, green peppers, cheese, and salsa cooked in beer. Right, Pete? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have some dinner. So I was doing some edits for the channel, and I looked over at this beautiful place, and I saw this thing drifting down the river, and I grabbed it. A lily pad! Look at how it grows. It's like grows inside a little shell sort of thing. But it was just floating along, being a happy little lily pad. I'll put it put it back in its little happy lily pad land. Bye lily pad. So it's probably dark right now. You guys probably can't see anything very good. The camera doesn't film very good at night. But you can hear birds and frogs out here. And there's somebody um, in a boat kind of partying over us around the corner. <laughs> and some laughter and stuff too. But we are in the Waccamaw River, which is a freshwater river that runs into the sea, into the ocean. And it's full of cypress trees. It's so pretty. Anchor in the trees and in the uh, lily pads. But anyways, so I'm doing some editing. I'll upload these videos onto the computer tonight. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to wake up bright and early tomorrow.